Hey coaches, welcome back. This is Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. How are you guys doing today? Today I've got a walkthrough of my new wing T formation, selected youth football plays, uh, ebook and PDF format. Uh, just released it today. Some of you have might have bought it in the beta and draft formats, and I really do appreciate you supporting me in doing that. But today I uh, released version one. And uh, it's out there uh, for sale over at coachparker.org and on the playbook store. So thank you so much. Um, just real quick, some features of it. It does have 200 uh, plus wing tee plays, uh, about 150 uh, run plays, 50 pass plays. Uh, each of the play is going against a popular youth football defense, either like a 6-2, 5-2, 5-3, 70 uh, 60 split and so forth. So those are kind of out there for four. Uh, each play is on a uh, single page and is diagram big. So you can print them off and show your kids. Um, there's a base blocking call for each of the plays based on a standard rule like gold or BB split or God or something like that. Uh, I've put in 12 different wing T series, uh, a couple of mine, a couple of traditionals, a couple of others I've found. So they're out there. There are 24 formations. I'm only using like two or three or four, but uh, they're there for you to take a look at along with, I guess, about 30 tags. If you want to go crazy on those two, you can get through that. I did pick the suite of uh, the core eight or the base eight. Sweet 16 and Core 24 plays. And uh, if you don't like those, you can kind of look at the other series of plays and pick a complimentary play. Uh, there are some Beast and Wildcat plays back in the back, uh, so you can look at. It is an Adobe PDF format. It is printable, and you can share it uh, with your coaching staff about three or four or five times if you want. So, uh, so yeah, so there we go. And it is $14.99, and I think it's a great deal. It does fit into my other uh, playbooks terminology and play terms and numbering systems. So I do not use, and some people, the wing T fanboys I know don't like this, I do not use the wing T terms or numbering so uh, just to get that out there but hey let's go through it so it is copyrighted material uh got to thank you you can contact me purpose of the book is basically to make more wing t plays up here's the table of contents so you can see it there uh it's about 361 362 plays there uh, i think i deleted a play maybe but uh there it is right there uh, let's see there uh, my go this is in every one of these selected books uh, my offensive strategy and goals uh, here's a wing T overview here kind of what it's about uh, Dave Nelson an author that I've really liked I didn't know he actually helped develop this uh, offense but uh, yeah so the wing T if you don't know is a multiple offense and so it has series of plays which are basically different running back actions or you can call them like it's basically different little offenses within a wing t framework and so uh, they developed this because uh you know they always couldn't run a certain offense one year because of talent that would come into their colleges because they were at smaller colleges and so they developed this system off of the uh, single wing, double wing, and straight T formations. And so uh, you've got all that. Uh, a couple of the big popular series are the Buck Sweep uh, series and the Belly series. So uh, those are very popular along with Veer and kind of sweep option there. So uh, my take on it, I like it. I like the framework. I do not like all the terminology and weird whole numbering systems. So I, I've kind of used my own stuff so it fits within uh, my stuff. But I do like their framework of having different offenses within an overall framework. I was sort of doing that with the Power Wing Beast offense and some of the action stuff that I've been doing in the past. So I will probably 
keep using their framework uh, of series of different offenses within a global framework because I think that's good. Uh, like they did where they would use like three formations or series each year. Uh, I kind of do the same. Uh, beast, a, 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 a clock management type of formation and then a wide open formation for long yardage. So I kind of like that system too, and that's probably why Dave Nelson and I kind of clicked on his other books. Uh, so uh, that's there. Uh, the wing tee is also about mirroring plays, uh, where the two back and the three back are your kind of your that the two halfbacks will either become a wing or the other halfback that's in the backfield. And so these plays are mirrored, and you can read more about that in the book. Here I just explained, I'm not using uh, their terminology because a lot of the fanboys over at some of the wing tee forums have gotten mad at me that I'm not using exact wing tee words. And uh, look, the plays work. Uh, I've run them mostly out of a double wing, which is actually one of the series or formations in the wing tee. So uh, most of these plays I've run before in, in different formations not just hey this is wing t so uh which is what a majority of professional football teams actually have taken a lot of the wing t concepts and plays and put them in so uh just wanted to make that sure you know that uh here are some great wing t resources that over the last two years i've been reading and researching and uh putting them in they're older kind of resources uh, than some of the newer stuff. So uh, you can check these out. I highly recommend these. Uh, there's a couple of really gems in there. I particularly like the Nelson books and the Kimsky books and the Shorier books. But also Tallman is an author uh, that I love. I've got five or six of his other books too. So all of those are great resources. So check them out. Here's players. There's some blocking calls. I put this in here. I don't know a lot of you, if you don't do this, you should be. It's called the bubble hole. The bubble hole is where there's no down lineman and a linebacker's backed up. This kind of stuff works really good in youth football. So I got this one in here for the wing T stuff. Uh, blocking vocabulary. There's a bunch of O line calls that you can use. Uh, there's running back stuff here, running back blocking calls, how they set up and block some diagrams on that. I've got a bunch of motions in here. I don't use them all along with spin footwork. Here's the motion calls here. Uh, I do not use all of these in this playbook, but they're there for you to start using as your talent pool gets more experienced and you feel comfortable with putting some of that in. And then I've got the course formations and alignments here you can see all that the different formations and alignments i go over spacing uh, another kind of spacing thing here you can see it so these are the two formations wing t left wing t right uh, that i'm using and i think they're 100 and 900 uh in the traditional i just don't i it, i prefer and i'll go ahead and say this now so you uh i i have long play calls and i've done that because over my 20 plus years of coaching tackle football i've had players that can't remember certain parts parts of the play if i just called it a number or something or something really short and so i've gotten to where my play calls are kind of long and they will fit on a wrist coach and i do that uh but that way every basically kind of intricacy of the play gets called out and so people it helps the kids remember better you may want to do it different and that's you know, shorten them up if you want. And I do that for about a top 10 or top 20. So uh, play series is like what I call the, uh, the kind of the offenses within the, the wing T system. So here is some of the series or what kind of offenses, sweep options, sprint rollout, buck sweep, power veer, drop back, play action, uh, more drop back passing, belly and lead options. So uh, there's some stuff there. Uh, here's the ones that I'm using here, and you can see those uh, quite a bit there. Uh, and then there's a bunch of tags. I'm a big proponent of all these tags, and I did not use them all. 
in this ebook and uh, that's on purpose so only start using those when your kids get comfortable with the base stuff and the base stuff is uh, the uh, base 8 sweet 16 and 24 and like I said there's over 200 plays but I did choose 8 16 and 24 you can get it and in between the beta draft and this it kind of changed because some guys were saying we'll keep it within a series so the base eight is pretty much the uh, buck sweep series in play action, which that play action is, is similar to the buck sweep run series. And I did that same thing with the sweet 16 and then kind of added in some power there, which is what I call flea or fullback lead. So uh, if you don't like these particular 24, what you can do is in the 12 different series, of the you know the plays they're going to be uh, all drawn out bigger is that you can get a complimentary play and put that into your what you would want maybe for your base eight week 16 or core 24 but uh uh that because you may run that better i mean i i kind of like the fullback lead stuff better than the buck sweep but the buck sweep is very traditional wing t and so i kind of ran with that the first draft I had I had the fullback lead stuff so I've been going back and forth and you may do that too so uh, you can take a look at that now I did not re uh, add these slides bigger right here in this section but if you go uh, to the plays you'll see that the play will have a uh, star on it in a in an appropriate number for it so you've got that deal also on a lot of the wing T uh, plays uh, there's they use keep a lot as an audible so uh, you can add keep to the back end of all those uh, and the quarterback will keep it and here I go through a ton of buck sweep plays I'm not gonna go over all of them I'm just gonna flip through them here really really fast because I don't want to make this like an hour-long thing but you could probably stop the video if you wanted here's the power lead series there uh, I know a lot of guys will move into more of a power eye kind of situation, which is in another selected new football playbook that I've got. So you could kind of do that. Uh, but there's all these plays and I'm just going to flip through them here really fast. And I'm not even going to name them off because uh, it takes too long. Uh, there is a look inside over at coachparker.org and I'll put that link below where you, there's about 25 pages. Here's the Veer series. I call it DOS, uh, or actually Veer, and DOS is actually the split backs versus the wing T backs. So you kind of see that. And then I got a quick tandem series, which is straight out of the uh, T formation or full house. Uh, and you can see I've got that there. So if you wanted to back that up, like in the power eye on the other thing, you can do th that if you want to get tricky. And so you've got those. And then the belly series is just an option series with the fullback hitting certain down the line and then kind of a pitch setup. I, you know, on the option stuff, I didn't put the options plays in here. I've put them kind of separate where I call them. Uh, if you want to run the option and you think you've got kids that can do that, you can certainly put those together and run the option. But I think option... For me, at least, I've never really been able to pull it off. We ran it in high school in the 80s, and it takes a lot of time, and I just, I really don't see little kids running double and triple option stuff. So, but that's, you know, if you feel like you want to try it, I don't recommend it, but uh, go for it. Here's the dive quick. Uh, we ran a lot of this in high school, too, where it was just a quick pitch out and a dive on the back side. So you've got that stuff. The spin mo stuff is is my stuff, and this comes from I'm a real big double wings kind of a spread double wing guy, and so I was I've been running the spin mo in my practices and some scrimmages as a way to rest uh, some of my backs instead of having them do so much motion. They're already in the backfield kind of thing, and so this this is really a great formation. You can take basically any double wing play and that you're kind of spinning with and run this uh formation here uh I, I really like it it's worked out good for me in scrimmages 
and the double wing itself works out great for me in games. Uh, now, <clears throat> a lot of guys include the double wing series uh, or formation within their groupings. And so I did not do that here because I've got another book called The Double Wing. So you can get that and add that. So you could add the power eye and the double wing to this book and have a really great uh, overall encompassing group of plays. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, that's all the spin stuff. There's a bunch of spin plays in here. And if you got the double wing book, you'll see that a lot of those plays are similar. Here's the passing series uh, of play stuff. So the swap uh, is very close to, uh, oh, we're not to the roll yet. This is still swap. Swap is close to the rollout series. And that's why I got a mistake there. So you can see all those plays there. Uh, then here's the pass play. So you got the roll pass plays, which is like swap. And that's why they're close together here. Uh, this play action, which is play, plaque, PLQ. I just shortened it for play action. Uh, this looks like the uh, buck sweep stuff. Uh, so it's play action off the buck sweep. And, you know, you can take any of those run formation, those run series earlier and like put a P on the end and make them into a pat play action pass series. And I talk about that in the book, but a lot of this stuff, I mean, they're, they're just drawing up a framework for these series and that's all it is. I mean, for, for like this formation. So here's the drop back pass and the max formation where the, you got two blocking backs uh, in there and that works out good. I like this a lot. I run this similar quite a bit with some pass plays uh, here. I basically run in my trig formation, if you've seen that, which is diamond, I'm running max and then my back tailback will run a swing pass uh, out of uh, that tailback position. So uh, you've got that. And then there's a 357 drop series here where it's a drop. So you've got pass plays out of this. These are very, all of these pass plays are very similar plays that I have in my other selected books, just coming off of this particular formation. And here's the spin mo stuff, uh, just a few things here. And then of course I added, I have to add always some beast cake and pie stuff uh, in there so you can get a look at those and you, you can go look at the playbooks more on Coach Parker. Passing tree, all kinds of stuff, how I call the plays, Caden's quick huddle and some quick little drills here. And then I've got these blank field templates if you want to print off of the different defenses that youth football teams use. And then you can print those off those blank pages and drop your own plays. I've got an appendix here of all my other playbooks and then also uh, these resources. There were some great wing team resources, what I said in the front of this thing. And then here's some other books. I've got a library of about 150 football coaching books now, and here's some of them for offense that, and some defense that I put in here for you that I've used here. There's the books again. Uh, I've got a note page in the end. And hey, uh, I, that's the end of this walkthrough on the wing T uh, formation selected youth football plays uh, ebook. It's in PDF. It is printable. You can share it with about your coaching staff, your immediate coaching staff, please don't be sharing it everywhere, but uh, or on the internet, just share it with your guys so you guys can get through the season. But uh, yeah, I hope you uh, will like the book. It's only $14.99 over at coachparker.org. Again, this is uh, Coach Parker with coachparker.org. Thanks for joining me today. Remember to play for fun and winning is funner. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.